Boom. We back, y'all. What up, what up, what up? Yep. Hope y'all saw the episode this week. Hope you liked it. You know, same thing, same thing. You're going to kind of recap what was going down. The kicks, y'all. Got a little numbing mixed up. We're going to hold down. King Smidge, once again, my brother. Uh, Say cool. Killer Killer One. 720. Right. So listen, so this is the episode where we finally get to meet Hayes. Young Hayes. Young Hayes, that's the name. Yeah, everybody yeah. gotta be a young now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I never heard a rapper named Old Son. Yeah. No, yeah. Old Dirty Bassett. Old Dirty Bassett, you know what I mean? But he's a special person. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, Hayes, who was played by Buttercool, a dope rapper, man. And actually, I met him in the African Folks Dinner. Okay. He was rapping. I told him that um, I had a background in the music game, but I don't want to do that no more. Um, he gave me his information. I went on his page. I saw that he did some acting, whatever. And I said, right, well, right. Me. I cast him for this part. And the funny thing about it when I cast him. Well, he him, read. He, he came to read. He came, in, he came in red. Yeah. He came in red. But remember, first he came in red with just me and you. Right. We had a bottle. What's that, Jack? Was it Gentleman Jack? Oh, we had that Gentleman remember, Jack. He took yeah, the yeah. Wild yeah. Big Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. He violated the bottle. Remember that day? He yeah, came he did. He violated the bottle. He violated the bottle. The bottle. Cool. But. That wasn't a shot. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's. Okay, let's get past yeah. that. But. <laughs> <laughs> He read with us. I went back and forth with him. Just me and him there. We was kicking it. We was drinking. And I said, he's perfect for the part. When it's time for the audition, <laughs> oh, he bombed so bad at that audition, man. But he was a little nervous. He was nervous. Yeah. I mean, it was a room full of people and stuff like that. But um, I gave him a second shot, and he came through. So, And it's funny because he's in the studio with his boys, and they're all young. They chastising him for do get on the record with, with um, Biz. Right. When we go later on into the episode, we see Biz. Biz is bragging about doing a song with him. So it's like, it's weird. The audience gets to see both sides because Biz has no idea that they're not taking him serious at all. Right. But Biz is so caught up in his own world of being um, MC Busy that no matter who he meets, he thinks they're a fan of his. So he right. over, overdoes everything and, you know, kind of plays himself. So as you go in the movie, you see that. And this is... Um, Biz is oblivious. Totally oblivious. Mm-hmm. And um, listen. Mm-hmm. We know some people out there just like that, man. I do. There's some people out there. Um, um, I, ain't say <laughs> <laughs> I know a few people that come on, knock it off, please. It's over. I think in this part of the movie, when um, when Dub intervenes between the little confrontation Biz and Shake have, it was because Shake kind of went at him about how terrible and how old and still he was looking. At. Right. And once again, we show the the difference in age. Right. Because Biz has a CD, MC Busy CD with old school graphics. And Shake is asking about websites, right. that Piff and and what's your um, metadata? Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, so it just it just shows the difference yeah. in age and how differently the two age groups think. So when we get past that point, I think it's one of our other scene with the pills. Oh yeah, that's a funny scene. And I think it's funny because in every corner store, every gas station, these pills are there. Mm-hmm. But nobody really owns up to buying these pills. Somebody buying them, they there. They right? there. In every store, they there. Somebody. I've them. never seen somebody walk up and be like, hey, "Yo, ah, <laughs> yo, let me get the extra extens." <laughs> <laughs> I so never saw that. You know it's, like, it's like it's like a certain way you got to order them, like a knock and a, and a wink or something. I mean, yeah, yeah. nobody want to get caught buying them pills. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I never bought them. Listen, I actually have bought them. I want to see. I mean, listen, it's you looking. The, the guy, listen. <laughs> they salesmen. I'm gonna tell you a story. I went to the store. Okay. They, I went to the store, right? Yeah, yeah. I bought a pack of condoms. I said, let me get a condom. Okay. So, so I said, oh, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I'm like, you know, you know, he said, you want one of those? I'm like, what the fuck? I said, nah, nigga, I want one of those. What are you talking about? Yeah. He said, nah, I'm telling you, how you are. I'm like, nigga, crazy. I do my thing. I don't need them pills. He said, he said, you wanna see Alice? Well, Cialis is a little different. Listen, well, he go from, from listen, he go, that shit to Cialis. He go that, that to Cialis, right? <laughs> I said, what? I'm, now I'm thinking about the commercials with the, yeah. the man, he's running and smiling, and his lady's looking at him, and they in the pool. That's all I'm thinking about when I think of Cialis. But you ain't see all the warnings on the bottom. Listen, listen. There's a whole so, paragraph of shit. So he come Your out liver with... might explode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he come out and slide mm-hmm. me this little yellow pill. He said, yeah. he said, yeah, try it, try it. Now, I feel like a, a, a victim, like I'm being pressured into taking a drug. Right. And he say, $5. I 
Some shit, five dollars for what's this? He said, yeah, on TV. That's how crack got popped. This had, yeah, listen, son. That five dollar crack, that shit's <laughs> special. Listen, you listen. You say five dollars, nigga be like, fuck it, let me get that shit. Listen, man. <laughs> I gave him a tip for the condoms. He gave me five back, so he never gave me the five back anyway. Right, right, right. He had it. He said five dollars. Like a deal, right? I said I can't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> he knew he was gonna come back. Listen, I tell you one thing. Yeah. That pill was great, nigga. Give me some. That nigga, that pill. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Yeah. I'm not here to be lying. The Cialis worked great, but I never use it again because I'm like, right, right, I don't right. need it. But I just wanted to see. But it does work. You it, tested it and it works. It worked for me. And you can stamp your approval on it. I can it. say Cialis works. I mean, okay. it might not work the way you want it to work because let's say you want to go for a quickie, it's not going to work in the manner you want to work. What, right. what happened was when you, you, you can have extended sex, but when you finish having sex, you can be ready to go again, like kind right. of very fast. Right. And you know, so. It's for marathon it's, sex. Yeah, it's that type of thing. Now, I mean, yeah. so I can say I'm one person who bought the pill. Now, are one of y'all willing to admit that you bought one of them goddamn pills? How about you, man? Nah, I ain't never bought the pills. But I, you know what I'm saying? But I did the rock, but that's a whole nother Okay, thing. okay, let's go. But, um, <laughs> yeah. MC Busy obviously bought the pills. And when you see the video, all the way up, we jacked the Remy Ma joint, did a patty yeah. of that, all the way up, which worked real good for the song, all the way up, obviously. Yeah. And another hilarious, hilarious part, man. And next week, Biz gotta tell his boys about what happened. Like anybody that's do. Like, right. But you gotta tell your boys what happened when you get some new ass. Yeah, you yeah. gotta tell the boys what happened. So that's what. Watch the next episode, nigga. It Especially gets, when the ass is like twenty years younger. Yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, so he's feeling himself. So you know what you do when you get a youngster, right? Yeah. Yo, yeah. Nigga, I'm like twenty two, son. One, twenty two. How you do that, nigga? The twenties was fun. I mean, I only mess with uh, grown women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who, they, they, they take it from too, but they got it done. But, you no, know, no. next week, y'all. I mean, yeah. yeah, hold on, hold on. Talk about the fed up real quick. Oh, okay. Fed up. Once again, this is an independent company. We, um, East we Coast is different. Yeah, this East Coast is different. East Coast. Explain. East Coast represents what city you're from. I okay. don't know. What, I think 016 is actually Philadelphia. All right. If I'm not mistaken. So this is for cats in Philly that got caught up in the system, and they fed up with the system. Get it? And 053 is New York, the Eastern District. Shit, I need that one. Yeah, know what I mean, it's all, I got all the numbers for 053, and yeah. I know 056 is North Carolina for um, reasons we won't talk about right now. And, where, um, where can they buy these at? Well, if you look at the bottom of the page right now, you see a website there, and you go right there. And I'm actually one of the models on the page, so I'm like that. You know what I mean? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good looking, y'all. We'll see y'all next All week. Right.